Well, for me, it's the sound. Absol absolutely. The, the fact that he's an outrageous inlay artist uh, and engraver uh, and an artist for, for just on that level is a huge bonus as, as far as, as I'm concerned. But uh, the sound of his guitars are, as a player, you know, as a, as a player, you don't get to look at the inlay. It's facing out. <laughs> you're, to, you're here, and the inlay's, you know, to the audience or to whoever is watching you play. Um, and it's great, of course, you know, and, and people love having their own themes or themes that are specific to, the, to their lives and uh, put into the guitars. But for me, it was, it's the sound. The, the, uh, as a guitarist, I both finger pick and flat pick and strum. And I was always looking for a guitar that could do all of those those things and, and guitar players will tell you it's not that easy to find uh, instruments that will do all of those things well and uh, that was that was one of the things that his guitars have done for a long time and then there was a um, <coughs> there was a gap in uh, in my scene grit uh, in in our lives where um, I, for a number of years I was working at CBC radio and then I was actually working in Montreal so I w was not in the, the same town and over the over a period of time, I'd had some different, really good guitars, some Martins and a Collins, etc. And I came back to Toronto uh, to start Borealis, and um, and was in his shop early on in, in in having moved back. And he had just strung up a guitar and he said, "What do you think of this?" And I played the thing and ordered one on the spot. I had been a few years, you know, since I'd, I'd seen one of his, his guitars. And uh, I, there was just, it just blew me away. It was so good. And, um, and so I, like everybody else, lined up for three years <laughs> to get my Alaskan guitar. <laughs> he wanted, he asked if he could have a bit of free reign in uh, designing it. And, and um, of course, a significant event in my life was uh, leaving the CBC to start Borealis. So there's an inlay on the, in the guitar depicting me in a small rocket leaving the, the earth as the, the logo of the CBC appears to be the earth and headed for the stars where Borealis is written uh, in, the, in the stars. <clears throat> so it's, a, it's specific to me. I'll never be able to sell a guitar, of course, well, <laughs> nor would I want to. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for anybody who appreciates good art and crafts, or for anybody that's interested in guitars, uh, it's a, it's a lovely book. It's a, and it, it, not only does it is it a, filled with great images of his inlay work, but it's also it talks about how he does it and uh, and uh, with some testimonials from other people in uh, in the world of inlay, uh, just testifying to how good he is. You know. oh. Yeah, I, I loved it. I loved it. I, it was a it was an, a novel I thought that could be read by a lot of different age groups. And, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, it's, I, I hope he writes more. I mean, I hope he does it ag again. If he could ever find more than 10 minutes to do something. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, he's a good writer. <laughs>